The Oakland A's may be closer to finalizing a ballpark deal in Las Vegas. A tentative agreement has been reached, which will now go to Nevada's legislature for approval. Crowd Force Sarah Stinson joins us now with what we know about the proposal. Sarah, what's the latest? Well, it's looking more and more like A's fans will have to travel to Las Vegas for a game. Now that we're learning more about how this ballpark will even be paid for. But remember, so far the deal is between the governor and the A's, and it will be up to the legislature, like you said, for them to approve the plan with or without changes. A proposed deal between the A's and the Nevada governor's office comes less than two weeks after the team reached an agreement to build a stadium on nine acres of a larger site that houses the Tropicana Hotel and Casino. We are now getting our first look at how this 30,000 seat stadium will be financed. Nevada State Senator Scott Hammond tells our Las Vegas affiliate the proposal includes $180 million in funding from the state, $90 million to be repaid over the next 30 years, and $120 million in bonds from Clark County. No location is specified in the deal as it currently stands. Now all eyes are on the Nevada legislature because they have the final say. Senator Hammond says legislation is being drafted and it won't be introduced until Saturday. A's President Dave Cavill says we're very appreciative of the support from the state of Nevada and Clark County's leadership. We look forward to advancing this legislation in a responsible way. Watching these deals unfold from a distance is frustrating for A's fans. Chris Dobbins with Save Oakland Sports says the latest announcement suggests Las Vegas has something Oakland does not. More political will and more public financing. Look how quickly that became. Vegas was able to put something together. It's been within this couple months. Oakland's been trying to get stadium for the A's at least since 2001, and nothing's happening. Former A's executive Andy Dolish says he's still skeptical this plan will go through in Vegas. Is the arrow pointing towards Nevada? Clearly it is. However, there are many, many points which add up to billions of dollars that are unresolved at this point. The Nevada legislature, which only meets for five months every other year, is set to conclude this year's session on June 5th. So we're talking about a little less than two weeks. If the ACE proposal has not come to a vote by that time, the governor can call legislatures back for a special session. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting. Back to you.